okay good morning to all of you in this class we are going to discuss about prove that for normal distribution mean median and more all are have the same value in our previous class we have been discussed in detail about normal distribution as a limiting form of binomial distribution i suggest to all of you that before you have to watch this one this video you watch this one carefully write down the note because note is always important for your exam point of view okay now we have to start this topic we know that the mean of the normal distribution is taken as mu equal to expectation of the random variable x right now we have to consider the median of the normal distribution we know as per the definition median of a given data represents the central value which divides the data into two equal parts <coughs> that means this uh, definition also we have been discussed in our previous classes uh, offline classes you can check your note that median is nothing but given data set of numerical values is defined as the central value which divides the data into two parts okay that is lower and upper in such a way that there Uh, there are 50 data points above uh, it and 50 data point below it suppose we have some 15 uh, students uh, data and the median for to, to calculate the median first we have to write the uh, uh, data in the ascending order ascending order then we have to consider how many numbers has been given suppose n will be odd then the median will be n plus 1 by 2 then that means suppose 13 numbers are there suppose i am telling one here it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 10 11 12 13 14 14 numbers are there so suppose 13 numbers will be there then the median will be 13 plus 1 by 2 we are going to get the sixth value sixth value means 1 2 3 4 5 6 this will be our median value but here if we have the 14th number suppose suppose we have the 14th 14 number of data points the median will be average of n by 2th term and n by 2 plus 1th term so here 14 if we have number of data points then this will be 14 by 2 7th um, uh, and 7 by 2 sorry 14 by 2 is your 7 plus 1/8 that means 1 2 3 4 5 6 suppose these are the 14 14 data points so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 this one 80 and 8 this one we have to consider the average of 80 and 83 uh, the value will be so called median okay these things we have already discussed so here we are going to consider two uh, uh, distributions that left tail skew distribution where we can found mean here and median here and mode here so that means uh, median is greater than that of the mean and if we are going to consider right tail where mean is greater than that of the uh, median two data uh, distribution we have to consider uh, uh, to 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 prove uh, that median equal to mean for the normal distribution because at this point this is this is the normal distribution and this point is belongs to mu expectation or mean value so here also median and also mode are going to be coincide that we are going to be prove so we do not have this distribution we have generalized that means maybe we are left hand left tail skew data or right tail skew data where the median mean and mode are not coincided this data not coincided and this data not coincided so here if we are going to consider this data and we are going to be consider the conditions um, condition that uh, pdf pdf of normal distribution pdf of normal distribution minus infinity infinity 1 then we are going to find out the median point will be equal to a mean that we are going to be proof so carefully you have to watch so as as i told that the median point is going to divide the data into two equal parts so let we have to consider x see this axis 
is the variation of your x values okay or the random uh, random variable values so let x is a any point that is your a which represents the median of normal distortion okay then we have minus infinity to infinity fx dx will be half will be 50 percentage half or 50 percentage that means median a given data present uh, data represent the central value which divides the data into two equal parts so minus infinity if i'll be move from minus infinity to this point then this portion value will be 50 percentage and then after that this portion will be 50 percentage so according to definition of your median we can write minus infinity to m minus infinity minus infinity data to median m fx dx will be half okay in general we can write so here we are going to put fx this is your pdf so here we are going to use pdf of normal distribution we know that the pdf of normal distribution is your this one 1 by sigma root over of 2 pi into e to the power minus x minus mu square by 2 mu square that we are going to substitute over here dx equal to here 1 by sigma 2 pi constant taken outside and this one dx will be equal to 1 by 2 so now 1 by sigma root pi into this limit i have been segregated that minus infinity to mean and then mean to median okay so minus infinity to mean this value plus 1 by sigma root over of 2 pi mean that means mu this mean is nothing but mu okay mu to this point median i have been taken as m point m okay you draw these two figures in your note so from mu to m mu to m integration e to the power as such this one i have been written x minus mu whole, whole square by 2 mu square dx equal to 1 by 2 let this is your equation number 1 okay but we have we have how much 1 by sigma root pi minus infinity to mu e to the power minus x minus mu square by 2 mu square dx which is equal to 1 by sigma root over of 2 pi minus infinity to 0 e to the power minus z square by 2 dz will be equal to 1 by 2 why because in case of your normal distribution in case of your normal distribution this point is the middle point so left side represents the 50 percent is probability right side represents the 50 percent probability or the area will be equal to one under the curve and this point is divides this area into two equal halves already we have discussed in our properties okay properties total area will be one the curve is symmetric about the mean area left and area right about about the mean are same that will be 0.5 or 1 by 2 the same thing i have been written mathematically that minus infinite to mu for this case for this case if i am going to use the distribution sorry pdf of normal distribution that is your 1 by sigma root pi into the minus this one dx or x minus mu uh, you can consider as z this one either you can consider this uh, distribution or this distribution this one okay equal to 1 by 2 see in your note either you have to write this two or you can omit this one you can omit this one no problem see no no here is this no need to omit because here is the something is there see minus infinity to mu this much will be 1 by 2 or if we are going to be consider z equal to z is equal to x minus mu then the uh, integration will be minus infinity to 0 how uh, these things already we have been discussed here in your characteristics curve so this is the point if we are going to consider the variation of x then the x is belongs to mu that means z is belongs to 0 right so minus infinity to 0 integration of dz <laughs> is same with minus infinity to mu dx here we have to consider x minus mu 
as z okay so here if x equal to mu then z will be zero already we have been discussed this characteristic of in detail you can check this one Co corresponding video of this uh, discussion okay so here uh, if we are going to consider normal distribution and the we on uh, the limit from minus infinity to mu this one dx or minus infinity to zero e to the minus z square by 2 dz will be equal to 1 by 2 right now the equation number 1 Will be how much? You can see that this part will be how much? One by two. So the equation number one will be one by two plus. As such, I have been written this one. Whatever it is written, one by sigma root over of two pi mu two m e to the power minus x minus mu square by two mu square into dx equal to one by two. Right. So that implies this much. This much value. This much value will be equal to how much? One by two will be taken. This side will be zero. So here, if the limit mu to m, this one will be equal to zero. Here only x is there. X square is there. X square is there. That means whatever the value m I am going to put uh, minus or plus, it will be automatically plus. Whatever the value mu I am going to put over here, uh, it automatically plus. So. If this equal to zero, that means this value equal to this value. So from the above integral, it can be found that mu equal to m. So here it is. It has been proved. Now we are going to consider right-tailed skew data. Right-tailed skew data for the right-tailed skew data. This is the mode. This is your median. This is your mean. Mean is greater than that of the median, that of the mode that we know. And the media here median for this data. is dividing the curve the area under the curve 50% is this side 50% left side but in case of normal distribution uh, at x equal to mu or the mean is dividing the curve on the area under the curve 50% is left and right okay now if we are going to consider this distribution or this data then what we are going to be uh, take the integration see minus infinity to m minus infinity to median Median is the point here. First, uh, you, you are you are going to get the first median point. Okay, then mean point. Okay, then mean point. Mean is mu. So minus infinity to median m minus infinity to m f x d x plus m to mu m to mu m to mu f x d x equal to one by two. Right, and in our initial itself. We discussed that minus infinity to m f x d x is nothing but one by two. So hence m to mu f x d x equal to one by two minus this one. Minus this one means minus one by two will be equal to zero. So if this integral will be equal to zero, then obviously mu will be equal to m. So hence it has been proved that median and mean are coincide coincided with each other for your normal distribution now we are going to go for the mode of the normal distribution and we are going to prove that mode also going to be coincide with mean okay so we know that mode is the value of x for which fx is maximum that we know that if we have a distribution mode is represents the maximum frequency okay maximum frequency is the represents the data belongs to maximum frequency that will be your mode in our discrete distribution we we have been already discussed okay so may you remember these things we have been discussed this, these are the discrete data points so here 80 number is repeated three times that means frequency of the 80 is max uh, maximum as compared with others so the mode of these data points is your 80 okay this is the basic thing you know so mode is the value of x for which fx is your maximum so for normal distribution mode is the function mode will be the mode will be uh, will be will be the mode will be the Just right will be the will be the solution of f dash x because if x represents the maximum value maximum value of f x 
then f dash x will be equal to 0 obviously so if we are going to solve this equation then I am going to find out the x okay you got my point because if x at x fx is maximum that means first derivative of fx fx will be 0 at x okay and if I am going to be uh, solve this differential equation, faster differential equation, whatever the x I am going to find, that will be the mode, right? And uh, f double dash x should be less than 1 because in our normal distribution, you, you just uh, see that for our normal distribution, if this is the point belongs to mode, at that point, it has to be maximum fx and at this point, before this point the curve is like this after this point the curve is like this in case of normal distribution normal distribution so mathematically this point is your inflection point and this point the curve should be concave down so concave down means the double derivative of function should be less than 0 if double derivative less than 0 and dash first derivative will be 0 then we can say that if x is belongs to your mode of the distribution okay so now we have to consider the pdf of nd nd is nothing but in short i written normal distribution so nd here i written so fx we know that uh, the pdf of nd is your fx equal to 1 by sigma root over of 2 pi into e to the power minus x minus mu whole square by 2 mu square right now we have to take the log both the side see remember whenever we have the large number of data to handle the data or to extract the information from the data we have to take the log right i am to give one example uh, belongs to one physics physics you can see that suppose along x axis we are going to consider um, frequency and along y axis suppose our resistance of a material resistance r okay so frequencies varies from uh, from 5 hertz or 50 hertz to 1 megahertz 1 megahertz so if and corresponding resistance we can get the data now without log if i am going to represent the data the data will be like this the data will be uh, shown like this okay it will be like this but if we are going to consider log of frequency and log of resistance uh, and the data will be give you approximately like this that means if we have the large number of data to handle the data to extract the information from the data we need to uh, consider the log of that data if log be taken then uh, the mm, many informations uh, is going to be segregated perfectly and we can determine uh, the our expect our our objectives uh, what we intend to find out from that data okay so only for that here as we know that x tends to infinite and n tends to infinite for your normal distribution so uh, here x is belongs to large number so only for that we have been considered ln of this one so ln of fx will be ln of this one that means this one plus this one we know that ln of x y is nothing but ln x plus ln y so this value plus this value ln of this one plus ln of e to the power this one will be uh, minus x uh, ln into e to the x is nothing but x so ln of exponent to the power minus this one will be minus x minus mu square by 2 mu square and we have to differentiate with respect to x both the side what we are going to get it will be 1 by fx into f dash x will be equal to this will be a constant will be 0 and differentiation of this one with respect to x we can get here you can see that 2 minus either minus uh, 2 into this one and differentiation with x will be 1 so 2 by 2 mu square into x minus mu okay so here f dash by x fx will be equal to 2 to god cancel 1 by sigma square into 
x minus mu. Now f dash x will be y minus 1 by sigma square x minus mu into fx. Now we have to consider f dash x equal to 0. So f dash x will be equal to 0 means this much will be equal to 0 because here we consider that x c is our mode. Now we consider f dash x equal to 0 that means here we consider x is our mode. If it is so then its first derivative value uh, the uh, first derivative of fx will be maximum or, or fx will be maximum. See if, if x is considered as mode then fx will be maximum right and the f dash x will be 0. Same thing now here written now consider f dash x equal to 0. This is one condition that x is the mode okay. So f dash x 0 that means f dash x equal to this much this much value will be equal to 0. So x minus mu equal to 0 x equal to mu okay. Here we prove that median equal to mean <laughs> and another thing also we have to prove that at this point the curve is concave downward or upward because our normal distribution is this one. The characteristics or the behavior of the curve is this one concave downward. So for that we have to check the double derivative is it negative or not. Check the concave downward you just put the heading <coughs> now consider f double dash x at x equal to mu. So at x equal to mu is it if it will be con concave downward then it, it will give the negative value of f double dash x. So f double dash x you have to consider f dash x already we found you just consider it's another derivative another derivative means first you consider this one is your constant and derivative of fx f dash x plus derivative of this one uh, into this one product formula according to according to formula derivative of this one you know, will be how much will be 1 by sigma square right 1 by sigma square already minus is there so uh, uh, minus sigma square into fx okay simple product product formula I have been used at x equal to mu so you just put x equal to mu means this term will be equal to 0 and we found f double dash x at x equal to mu will be equal to minus sigma square 1 by sigma square into 1 by sigma root over of 2 pi which is a negative value or less than 1. So here we prove that at x equal to mu the function is concave downward. Okay. Here we found for normal distribution median and mode mean median mode are coincided. Okay. So sometimes it is asked it, it, in your exam it is asking that you have to prove that uh, all the three have the same value. This is the proof and I suggest that you just omit the step at the, in, in your exam. Okay. So now here we have to stop our uh, this class. In our next class we are going to discuss moment generating function of normal distortion. So thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you.